Step forward block. Hey. Hey. Hug. G. Go. What the? Hey. 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 Hug. G. Go. What the? Hey. Good luck, that block. Left front stance, left vertical fist. Hey! Hey! Tuck the ski. Going forward. Hey! Hey! Hug! Watch this. Hey! 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 Hug! Watch this. Oizuki actually mean? Anybody? It doesn't mean turnover. What does it actually mean? Full punch. Full? Double yes, sir. Okay. Depends on what you mean by that. Completed punch. How is it different than reverse punch? Yakuzu. Yakuzu. Okay. True. So a full lead hand punch and a full reverse punch. Oizuki's lunge punch. It's a lunge punch. He's coming forward on the lead side. Lunge punch. Yaku reverse. Right, coming forward. Hey! Hey! Hug! What 
って。Back fist. Rikinski. Hey. Hey. Hop. What the? Hey. 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 Hop. What the? Hey. Don't move yet. I'm gonna take a 50-50 shot. Casey. Yes. Oh. Matt, slide over. Jacob, don't wander. Stand right there in the yard. Oh, right. yeah, you're fucking fast. I'm sorry. All right, full right there in the corner. Come up right there in the corner. Right. Bow. Take your spot right behind Ken here. Left forward stance. Uh, left back fist. If you want to call it a night, I got it. I got a good plan for you. Okay, cool. Thank you. Coming forward. Back fist. Hey. 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 Hop. What the? I'm not sure I'm understanding the question, so I'm going to answer it this way. Okay. Um, if your question is, does the elbow extend or does the elbow stay bent? No. no okay. It's, it's make, I guess more the position of the shoulder. Good. Either one are going to come out for this one. Okay. Uh, if you prefer Shia James' way from the ear, you go load here. If you prefer my way from here, then the elbow comes. Right. And just like we were talking uh, a couple months ago about that helical spiral, that's basically what you want that shoulder joint to do. You want it to spiral in and unwind the fist. But it's going to unwind the fist either forward or down. If I'm here, it's going to unwind forward. If I'm here, it's going to unwind at a downward angle. Right. Good question. Step out, left forward stance, left uppercut. Hey! Hey! Obvious to you. Uppercut. Hey! Hey! Hop! What the? Remember, from now, it's going to start from behind the hip. 
come on. Right there. things we need to chat about real quick. Um, first, for our new individual who don't know this, and you can pass this on to the other one if you don't mind. Just as an FYI, I teach here for free. So I'm on my own time when I come down here. It's part of my training, in my opinion, plus it, I just love doing this. So it almost came up on Monday. If you're not going to make it to class, I would just ask that you text me because it has happened before where nobody shows up and I've been sitting here on my rear end for three hours. Yes. So, just uh, take my name and my number, just shoot me a quick text. Right. Like if you only come on Wednesday, don't text me about Monday, I got that. Okay. okay. But if you're, you're your regular day, you can't make it, just a quick text, I can't make it. That way, on the rare occasions where everybody has stuff to do, I can go find something else to do as well. I heard you answered the questions from Monday, so let's share your questions with the class. Jacob here was the only one that showed up on Monday. So you got a private class. We had a couple of good questions. So, lead off. Do you remember? Uh, I heard a question saying which karate moves are the best counters for certain other karate moves. Okay. All right. Did everybody hear the question? I can barely hear the question. Okay. What is the 100% correct, yet very trite answer to his question? It depends. It depends. It depends. Okay. That's why I didn't want to give you that answer Monday. Okay. The actual 100%, yet really, really trite answer is it depends. Because you, you won't know what the best one is until that tech keeps coming at you. When Sean James and I were coming up through the ranks, with Hanchi. He was a master of doing this, and it drove us crazy for years until we figured out what was happening. He would stand up here with the person he was gonna demonstrate with, Hizuki, and he would demonstrate a technique. So let's just say rising block, reverse punch. He would he'd talk about it for a, while, a little bit, and he would demonstrate it again. But it would look different. And he would do it a third time, and it would look different a third time. So us being, you know, no rank, no buddies would go, that looked like three different things, sir. Which one do you want us to do? Hey. Do what I told you. Oh. It took us a long time, because he, in his mind, he did exactly the same thing. And now, as I've progressed, I realized he was doing exactly the same thing. But what he was doing each time his Uki, the person who was punching at him, was punching slightly different targets. And he was adjusting for that target. So that's why it is impossible to answer that question other than it depends. So that's why we train. Because if somebody's punching dead center between my eyes, you know, a nice solid rising block is gonna work. But if they're throwing off where they're actually targeting this pressure point on the front part of my skull, this one might not be my best option. Shoot though might be my best option. How do you know exactly which part of your head is going to Practice, practice, practice. You've heard this before. Do you guys know, ever heard the, the old saying about Carnegie Hall? Do you guys know that one? How do you get there? Yeah, that one. Do you guys know what Carnegie Hall is? Let's just start with that. Yes. Yes, no? Okay, Carnegie Hall is a very famous, uh, call it concert venue in New York City, built in the 
1800s by the Carnegie family. If you were a musician, especially a classical musician, back in the day, you had reached the pinnacle of your career when you got to play at Carnegie Hall. So there was an old saying that developed. How do I get to, you know, it started with an old joke. A violinist is walking down Broadway in New York, stops a stranger. He goes, I'm looking for Carnegie Hall. How do I get to Carnegie Hall? And the stranger goes, practice, practice, practice. So he didn't give him directions to physically get there. He gave him the principle on how to get there. So same thing here. How do you learn that? Practice, practice, practice. Because there's no way any of us, including these guys, can tell you these things. Until that fist is coming at your face or your rib, you won't know what that looks like. That's why we train, train this way. That's why we train here. You know, we're not going to just chuck you in the deep end and start wailing on each other. It's going to be slow and controlled. If you see enough punches coming, you feel enough blocks, that's when you learn. tell by the, the slight tilt of their head, the way their shoulder drops or raises, the way their hip starts to set, the way their foot sets. There is so much subtle body mechanics that will tell you everything you need to know. Hanchi, these guys up here, we're masters of that. They could look at you. Okay. When I was training, I got to spar Hanchi a few times, just a couple of times. One time, I remember this, it's funny. We're sparring, and he, you know, I would start setting up something, and he would go, no, don't throw the round kick, it's not the right time. I go, how did he know I was about to throw a round kick? Dance a little bit more, he's like, no, nah, it's not time for the reverse punch either. Like, and he, he, would, he did this for like four straight minutes that we were sparring. About two heartbeats before I threw it, he knew what I was gonna throw. Now the really funny part is everything that he told me not to throw is exactly what I should have thrown. He was messing with it on two levels. I was just thinking. Yeah, I was just remembering the two levels. So, so I'm like, man, a round kick looked like it should have been right there. Like, yeah, it was. He was just messing with me on two different levels. <laughs> but the only way you get to can figure that out is to stand in front of another person and go, oh, okay. That's what we're doing. Okay, well, you see, that's time his shoulder, his or her shoulder did this, and the arm went this way. This time their foot was over here, their leg did this, or their hand did this, or you know, they tilted their head a little bit. That's how you learn those things. Okay, what was the other question you had from Monday? You remember? Yes, you answered this one. Uh, I can't remember which move it was, but we have to turn a lot five different moves. Go home, okay, come. Yes. Yep. Uh, and you answered this one, but I asked why do we have to do so many moves? Uh, you're right, I did answer that one. That's not the question. There was one other question that I did not answer. Do you remember what it was? No, I think those were the only two questions. Okay. Now, there was one more. What was the answer to the question he asked? Glad you asked uh, okay, well, I'll, I'll paraphrase your question. So, the question was, why do I block so many times before I get to hit it? So we spent some time talking about maybe you're not blocking. Block is a block. All right. Every block is a strike, every strike is a block. Okay, the, qu the other question that I did not answer because I wanted to spend a few minutes on it. What is the difference between defending yourself and protecting yourself? Okay, I remember that. Anybody? Defending yourself to me could, could mean that you are countering to uh, injure some protecting could be that you're just making sure you don't get hurt. Whereas defending to me means 
you're you're making sure you protect yourself and you may be counteracting so that uh, the person cannot try to harm you. And protecting yes. feels like you're more sheltering yourself so that you don't maybe get hurt, but you might not necessarily be counteracting. Okay. Okay. Say it louder. If you're Turn around I'm not going to answer for it. So you say your answer louder, Greg. Oh, oh. Um, they didn't hear you. For, for, for me, protecting feels like you would be making sure that you don't get hurt. Like a turtle protects itself. It goes into its shell, but it's not hurting anything. It's just protecting itself. Defending to me would be that you may be, to me, you're protecting and now making sure the person can't do anything else. So you would be proactively acting upon them as well, not just protecting yourself. So it depends if you keep blocking and I have a punch and make sure I, I don't get hit and defending you blocking and punching you and you drop and I just defended myself in my opinion. I don't okay. think that's correct, but if um, that's the case then I always kind of protect myself in any situation. Well I don't know if it's the case. Well uh, here's the thing. You're I'm not gonna disagree with well, I'm not gonna say you're wrong. It's your opinion. I understand it. I have a different opinion. I thought. I think uh, defending yourself is responding to an attack. Protecting yourself could be as simple as not going out in a lightning storm. Okay, let's put a pin in that. Actually, can you say that louder? Say it louder. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. I was saying defending yourself, I see that as you're responding to an attack. Protecting yourself may be as simple as don't go out in a lightning storm. <laughs> okay. You had something? Actually, maybe it's the difference between like tactic and strategy. Like defending yourself, you have an idea because you can kind of see the attack coming. Whereas protecting yourself is more reactive, like a tactic. Okay. Um, I like both of your thoughts. Um, I would choose different. I'm kind of going to answer similar to what you said in different words. I'm more along the lines of what Ken was talking about. To me, Defending is reactive. Something's happened, I need to get on it and get it done. Protecting is preemptive. Like to protect my house. I have insurance, I have locks, security systems, all that. that's not defending anything, but it is protecting. To protect myself and my family. I have, you know, health insurance and job, blah, 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 blah. It's not really defending anything. To me, defense comes when it's time to start laying hands on people. So, like, protecting would be me not locking my car by myself and having my keys ready before I get it. Yes. Yeah. Or not going out in a lightning storm. <laughs> yeah, this very, yes, absolutely. So in my opinion. It's like a plan strategy, and what you have ever been prepared when defending is like a surprise strategy. And you need, uh, you need to make sure you have the proper uh, ingredients in order to defend yourself. Kind of. To me, what you just said applies to both, but it's when it's applied that makes the difference to me. So, when something happens, just like right at the moment, would that be leaning more protecting or defending? All right, like, well, like right now. If Greg finally decides he's had enough of me and he charges over here to bust me in the head, I'm going to defend myself. Who, who else saw the finger switch? Sean is praying that I do it. Yeah. So someday, someday, <laughs> it's going to be like Christmas and my birthday. And Greg is going to go insane. And he's going to come over here. <laughs> Protecting myself is a lifetime of training to be able to defend myself should I need it. Does that make sense? That's my opinion. It's not right or wrong. Not right or wrong. Not right or wrong. Not right or wrong. My opinion, your opinion, all that. Sound good? Yes. Anything else? All right, here's what we're going to do. I see what else we have left. Oh, we have kicks left. All right, step out, left forward stance, left middle guard. Hey. Hey. Coming forward, he's a giddy, knee lift. Hey. 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 What the? Hey. 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 Hop. Watch this. Hey. Hey. 
Hey. Oh. Watch this. Hey. 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 Oh. Watch this. Hey. In step kick. I so good. Hey. Hey. Oh. Did we start MP yet? Yes, sir. Watch this. Hey. Han Yoko Giri, front 45 side kick. Talk about on Monday, not toe, heel. Hey, better. Hunt. Like this. Hey. 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 Hunt. Like this. Hey. Ushiro Giri, back kick. Why, if back fist and back kick, do we say Urazuki, Rekinzuki, and a Shirogiri? Why don't we say the same thing for both? Anybody? Okay, back fist, Urikinski, Urikinski, back kick, Ushirogiri. They're different, but they both say back and then the technique. Why? Anybody? One behind. One is behind, absolutely. What's the other one? Front or forward? Uh, no, forward is mine. Okay. So they can back as a fist? Okay. Close. Back kick is forward and backward. Uh, well, true. Very true. Okay, Ushiro does mean back. So anything back or to the rear is Ushiro in Japanese. Ura ken or riken, the ken part of that means fist or sword, depending. Okay. The ura part, ura means hidden. So we translate this as back fist because we're using the back of the fist. But the actual translation is hidden fist. Yeah. Ura means hidden. Just FYI. Have a folks. Knuckles until it gets to you, that's right. Um, probably. Um, <laughs> what? You never saw it come. Yeah. So there, there's a lot of hidden part in my mind. Um, I'm not willing to say, yes, that's the one reason. But I agree, absolutely. I right now I just think there's more to it than that. I'm just not sure what that is. Yeah. All right, middle guard, Jacob. Coming forward, back kick. Hey. Hey. Hug. What is? Hey. 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 What the? Hey! 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 
いポン終わってはい The back leg turns, Jacob, not the front leg. Come forward, my giddy, front kick. Pause, hey. 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 Hold. Like this. Hey. 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 Hold. Like this. Shoot or not, you? Sure about you. Oh, when everybody gets back on the floor, remind me I have something else to say. I knew I was missing something. Don't forget, sir. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. I was thinking of a sword technique. It's not Ushiro Dachi, it's Kokutsu Dachi. Because uh, I mean, when you said that, I thought it was in Kutsu? Kokutsu. Kokutsu. Kokutsu's backstand. That's going to be back leaning stand. That's why. We have Zen, Kutsu, Ko, Kutsu. Kutsu is the leaning part. Aren't all filled up with you know taxes and anniversaries <laughs> and all this relevant data. And relevant data, you're going to get yourself. <laughs> Jacob, back on the clock. Thank you. All right. Um, you two haven't met her yet, but I don't know what day yet. But Sifu Amari is planning on coming in to do Qigong warm up and cool down for us again, and probably help teach. Friday class one night, so just right. FYI. Yes. Those of you that haven't met her, uh, she is a Tai Chi Qigong instructor and retired professional dancer. She comes in occasionally and teaches Qigong and things from the Chinese aspect of it. Uh, she comes from the, the Chinese white crane lineage, which is where our stuff comes from. So quick, quick and dirty, how karate got to here, Orlando, Oviedo, Florida. The last research I heard, they were able to trace it back to Alexander the Great and the Greek Pancration styles. He brought it to India, where it became, forgive my pronunciation, Kalari Pattaya, Kalari for short. It went over the Himalayas into the Shaolin area of China, became Shaolin Kung Fu split into a bunch of different factions of Kung Fu. One of which was White Crane Kung Fu, also became uh, Tai Chi Qigong. The White Crane went to the coast, the Okinawans came over, trained with them, brought the White Crane Kung Fu 
Tai Chi Qigong back to Okinawa. It became Okinawan Karate, went from Okinawa to Japan, where it became Shitaru, and then it came over here to us. Via Hawaii, California, etc. So, quick so and dirty. And is where the Shitaru? The style Shitaru is a Japanese style. Oh, I always thought it was Okinawa. I thought the Shitaru was Okinawa. The guys who, these guys, yeah. were Okinawan. Okay. They didn't name it until he went to Japan. So splitting that fine semantic hair, technically Shitaru is Japanese, not Okinawa. Technically. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Jacob, you stay right where you are. Uh, Casey, switch places with uh, Risa for a second. Okay, Risa, slide up here a little bit. Okay, what we're gonna do, you four are gonna do round robin. You two are gonna stay right where you are. So to start with, let's do this. All right, Ken, you're gonna take Jacob to start with. Greg, you're gonna take Casey to start with. Slide over. No, go, 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 go. Now explain where, what we're doing. So face her. Now go back there with her. Go back there with him. Risa, come up here. You two face in front. Okay, you guys aren't dealing with each other. We're not doing partner work. Okay. Go hono uke. Go hono uke with them. Or a little bit do more. we show them or just do it? Um, do it with them. Start out one count, one move. I don't remember how much of it you got last time. I don't we know if we got. Did we get all of it? Yes. So start one count, one move. They've got it. Do the whole thing. Yes. Gundam is the highest one. Yes. Sci-fi is the highest one. Okay. Yes, Sci-fi. Yes. Hi, Jimmy. Jacob, Casey, you guys are going to stay right where you are. You four are going to rotate one position counterclockwise. So you're going where Ken is, Ken going, blah, 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 blah. Go. Awesome. Greg, you're coming up here. Pass that eye. Still, go on over. Go back there. Pass that eye. Cycle. Well, actually, pass that eye. Jim. Jim. Jim.
You know, no tension hop on number three. Oh, wait. Just up wide. Hey, Grace. You know, uh, you're supposed to do a horse dance here. That means you must put equal amount of weights both players. Both players. So, when you're doing the front chance, you've got more weight on here. And those transfer hands are almost half that weight of the display. Okay, I'll turn around. There, you generate power through the hips. Hey, uh, hips for the Come on. Can you stick with side pop? Here at the top of the eye would be shifting, so here's the looking. Part, the looking is part of the cop. You missed it that time? Missed that time. On the, going back on these hammer fists, this. Yeah. No, don't, yeah. Don't, don't leave it up there. Push pull. I had one question right up to this. As an FYI, that particular piece, the rolling, is one of the things that's changed about a hundred times since I've been trained. Guys in the back, if you're in the middle of an explanation, finish up.
Good. All right, spread two. Back to your two line, original two lines. Yeah, the original two lines. Flat over. Not the remix, the original. Not the remix, the original. There we go. That one. Modeling music. All right. You four, the katas you did, any questions on katas? Practice, practice, practice. Practice, practice. Any questions on Gohonu? Okay. The rising head block was a little confusing. <laughs> okay. May we turn and look Absolutely. Good. The, the description that I got the second time was, um, I, I have really bad hearing, so I, okay. but um, it was more like coming up like this yep. versus like that. Uh -huh. and, I, and maybe I'm just trying to think about how to easily go from that um, this block into the rising head block because when we learned it last week, um, I think there was a description of like you kind of want to like push up. Uh -huh. But I'm just trying to figure out how to keep the difference. So I'm doing it like the strong way that Brandon was showing me versus the one that'll just get swatted aside by. Like, okay. All right. Share an anecdotal story. Put. I just want to show me exactly what it is that you showed her. Um, so basically, I show. Um, no, not basically. Just show me. I'm preparing a weak block. To a strong one. But the confusion, I see, and I see this confusion too in Tittle, is from here to here. And then here to here, I'm also kind of, I now just start to question that part okay. Tittle. Thank you. Go ahead. Uh, just, when, when I when I learned the key and then I learned or Kyoshi, and then I learned Mari Kyoshi, the, the key is, and when I saw it, I was like, oh, well, they both look like you could do it, the story, like, what Kian was saying uh, about, about Hanji, that yeah, they both work no matter what they do, because they don't both of them look okay to me, but the key is to progress. Now, whether you maybe too much work doing it softly, you try to make sure you're kind of defending it, but they look good, both of them, to me. I, I, Are you four listening to this? This is, this is the majority of the last half hour that I was trying to get to, okay, is the input from these two. Okay. That's why I had you guys do your round round. Okay. Now, I don't want to know, we'll put a pin in that for just one second, I'll get back to it. I don't want to know which of the four was better, but did you learn something different or were described something different from all four of them? Yes. Jacob, yes or no? Nobody taught you anything different? Oh, yes. Okay, so four different people with four different opinions. What does that tell you about the martial arts? It's an art. Everybody has a different opinion. And they're all, they all may be right. The principle is what matters. So you're right. At your stage right now, it is extremely difficult to see the nuance visually. But it's the principle that Greg was describing that's important, the important part. So if I'm here on this middle outside block, excuse me, middle inside block, as I project forward with my hip, the principle is that the fist leaves. I don't want to do a rising block where my elbow goes first. So I don't in any way want this windshield wiper effect. I want a more vertical, vertical-ish, drive up and in, because eventually this is going to turn into a punch. So from the middle inside block, as I twist, I'm kind of forcing, for me, I'm forcing my elbow a little bit down to get that more vertical position. I do not want to do that and lift from the shoulder. At a certain point in training, well, for a certain period of time in training, you just do what your instructor says, okay? Because 
That's all we know. Wax on, wax, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Right, exactly. Eventually, you need to start evaluating what you've been told or taught to fit your body. And again, there are seven of us on the floor. You ask seven of us to do a rising block, an outside observer will go, they all did a rising block. None of them did the same rising block, but they're wrong. As long as we stick to the principle of the block or the technique in general, we're good. It's the principle that matters, right. not the details of me versus you, or you versus you, or you versus you. Because trust me, other than Ken, he could probably pull off my block better than anybody else on the floor. But none of you should block the way I block. Nobody should punch the way I punch. Hanchi would always tell him, he doesn't want robots. I don't want robots. I don't want seven Jerry's walking around the floor because none of you are built like me. None of you have my background in anything. We're not all the same people, so we should not look all the same. Yes. But at the bot end of the day, everybody should go, oh yeah, they're all doing go ho yes. And it all looks good because it's your go ho It's your kata. It's yes. your technique. It's not your copy of somebody's technique. Did I answer the question or did I start rambling again? Both. Both? Okay. <laughs> All right. So, hopefully you four took her information and heard it. She gave you guys probably more teacher instruction than I have in all day. Yes. Plus. Just with the, what she just said. That we dealt with all four of them. No? Also, again, one of the hardest things about teaching in general, teaching karate specifically, is I gotta teach six, six different ways. You're gonna hear one thing, you're gonna hear something else, you're gonna see something different, you're gonna see something different. We're all different. Okay. Yes. So, practice, practice, practice from everybody. Cool. Hey. myself. Call it. Kiske. So we break. Joseph eat great. Target eat great. What? I got the what the day? Go home. Thank you, sir.